Hello and welcome to this quick video on how to repeat your headers on every page of your print. So there is a difference in Excel between what you see on screen and what you get when you print. For example, on this spreadsheet, I have frozen the top row. So when I scroll down, the first row remains on my screen. But if I come to file and print, this is page one of that spreadsheet when printed. But if I move to page two and three, the headers are not repeated. This definitely needs fixing. Now to do that, we go into page setup. Now I can get into page setup through this print preview. There is a link, but if I follow that link and navigate to the sheet tab, the options that I want for print titles are not accessible. So we cannot access those settings this way. Let me cancel that window, step back to my normal view and go to the page layout tab where I see that same setting again for print titles. And that takes me straight back to the tab of page setup that I was previously showing. But now the settings I want are accessible. So if I click in the option for rows to repeat at top, I only have one row to repeat. And I can simply click any cell in that row just behind this window. So you see my mouse cursor turn into that black arrow and I can click any cell such as C1 here and it writes in the reference to row one. There's a nice print preview button in this window so I can click that to skip straight back to that preview. Here is page one and moving down here is page two and then page three and the headers are on every single page, nice and easy. Okay, so I wanted to show a second example with a difference. This is an Excel Gantt chart spreadsheet that I created over eight years ago now, can you believe? And I thought this would be a good example of showing that we can also repeat columns on every page of a print. If I go to file and print, this is already set up to print to an A3 page size and I've dropped it to a 90% scaling. This is page one and when I move to page two, you can see that the summary text at the top and the information about the tasks on the left are not repeated. So these additional pages are not really that helpful without I go back to page one, that information on the left hand side. So if I come out of this print preview, page layout tab, print titles, and this time I want to repeat the columns on the left. So I'll click in the columns to repeat at left and select columns A across to F for this example. We could have selected whichever columns we wanted. It could have just been the first two, columns A and B, for example. But keeping with my selection, if I click on Print Preview, there is page one. And when I move to page two and then page three, we now have the summary text at the top with the link to my website and also the information about the tasks repeated on every single page of this print. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to be notified about the latest Excel videos at this channel. Take care and I will see you again soon.